All right, and we are back here on the GSMC football podcast. I was able to fix my camera. Uh, so I, I gave you a little bit of a preview of when there'll be three people on the show at the same time when I clicked on the wrong uh, scene on OBS here. Uh, but yeah, so to finish off what I was saying, so yeah, Brock Purdy, I would say, is kind of like in like that. I mean, I mean, I guess he could probably be in the same tier as some other quarterbacks. But um, again, really, it's just he's kind of in the middle when you're talking about game manager and elite quarterback he's in the middle you know he, he's not i don't think he's a game manager but i don't think he's you know top tier but i've said that a bunch of times so um yeah let's get into uh now the reasons why both teams can win super bowl 58 um this will be the final topic i mean listen it, there's, there's not really um you know I, I don't know how to word it there's not really you know a lot of there's not unique reasons why that I'm going to come up with as to why both teams can win the Super Bowl. I mean, it's you know, some of them are kind of obvious, um, but uh, yeah. So I mean, with the Chiefs, why they can slash will win the Super Bowl, I mean, is, is off their quarterback. Um, you know, Patrick Mahomes has played in so many big games in you know such a short period of time. You know, and. Um, He's used to these moments. I mean, he he's been playing from behind. You know, he's played in Super Bowls. You know, he knows how it feels to lose a Super Bowl too. Um, you know, so I just with all that experience, I mean, he is the best quarterback in the NFL. Um, he's in a class of his own. Um, and then it's everybody else. And you know, it doesn't matter. I mean, Josh Allen and Lamar Jackson had good seasons, and Mahomes might have not had his best year, but Patrick Mahomes still ended up, you know, knocking out both of those guys in the playoffs to get back to this point. And, um, you know, he's going to be the reason he is one of the reasons why the, the chiefs will or can win the super bowl, um, which is pretty obvious. Also another thing, actually, you know, I really haven't talked about him that much as Isaiah Pacheco, you know, um, I did mention this, the running game, but chiefs are going to have to rely on that running game at times too. I mean, again, you see how the 49ers defense has been kind of susceptible to the run. Chiefs got to rely on Isaiah Pacheco in this game. And um, he's had a good postseason. He scored a touchdown in every postseason game so far this year. Um, and I expect that to happen again in the Super Bowl. Uh, he scored a touchdown in the Super Bowl last year too. Uh, so, you know what, Pacheco is going to play a role in this game. You know, and um, and I, I think he'll, he'll be... He'll, uh, He'll be solid in this spot. And then, of course, you got the defensive side of the ball. Uh, again, the Chiefs have one of the best secondaries in the NFL, you know, led by Legereus Sneed. Um, and, um, you know, I, I, I think, um, you know, they're going to give Brock Purdy some pride. But, you know, it, it's going to be fascinating to see um, the playmakers match up with the, uh, of the Niners match up with the secondary of the Chiefs. Um, you know, and obviously the Chiefs with their front seven two, led by Chris Jones, you know, they're going to be, uh, trying to get after Purdy and I think they'll give Purdy some problems. Um, you know, and, and Steve Spagnuolo, he's been there so many times, um, and he's going to come up with a, a game plan to try to, uh, you know, slow down the Niners offense here with Brock Purdy. Um, you know, and, and the other thing too is with the Chiefs. Just got to make sure the receivers hold on to the ball. Um, you know, Valdez Scanling, you know, dropped some big passes earlier in the season, but he's caught some big ones. I mean, against the Ravens, the the uh, game ceiling catch at the end on that third down play made some big catches in the Buffalo Bills game as well in the divisional round. Um, again, we'll see if Kadarius Tony ends up playing in this game. Um, I, I saw something that said that he could return. Uh, punts in the Super Bowl if he does play. And you got to remember, had one of the big plays in the Super Bowl last year that set up one of their touchdowns. So, you know, we'll, we'll see uh, if he ends up playing. But, um, you know, and again, also look at this, uh, check on the status of Rasheed Rice because, you know, um, he was downgraded from a full participant in practice to now limited. So, you know, and he's, uh, you know, that that's someone that Patrick Holmes has developed a nice connection with, somebody that's really been contributing in the second half of the season and in the postseason so 
something to keep an eye on. Um, you know, and obviously, of course, you got Travis Kelsey, who's been on a tear in the postseason. Um, looks like the Travis Kelsey that we're accustomed to seeing, and I expect him to make big plays in this game as well. So, I mean, again, a lot of these reasons are not crazy, but, um, you know, again, just another angle um, as to why, uh, or another angle to, you know, talk about the Super Bowl with. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much all of uh, the angles with the Chiefs. You know, they got the experience, you know, um, they got the quarterback, the running game, the defense. Yeah, it, it, it's, um, you know, it, it's really not, you know, anything crazy. Which, um, yeah, so now we move on to the, the 49ers. And, um, you know, with them, it's, a simil it's, you know, similar things. You know, you got Brock Purdy, you know, is going to have to make plays. You know, again, was an MVP candidate for most of the year. And, um, you know, listen, was a part of both comebacks against the Packers and the Lions in the postseason. Big moments. And, you know, listen, they could the 49ers could have easily folded when they were losing to the Packers. You know, I mean, down, down 17 to the Lions, they could have easily folded there. But you know what? They were able to come back, although they capitalized on some of the Lions' mistakes. You know, they were able to... Uh, come back and win those games and and listen Brock Purdy's gonna have to make plays in this game again similar to the Chiefs rely on your running game with Christian McCaffrey he was an MVP candidate all year maybe should have won the MVP that's somebody you're gonna have to rely on in this game get the ball to your playmakers the, the 49ers they have a ton of playmakers we talk about the Chiefs defense and again the fascinating matchup between them and uh and the um 49ers uh, 49ers playmakers it's going to be um it's going to be an interesting matchup I mean they got Debo Samuel Brandon Ayuk George Kittle Christian McCaffrey Juwan Jennings makes plays as well their number three wide receiver um you know get the ball to your playmakers Debo Samuel you could have him come out of the backfield too um you know there's going to be a lot of motion you know at the line of scrimmage you know they love to do that uh pre-snap motion so you know they're, they're going to be throwing a lot of chiefs defense and we'll see how the chiefs defense reacts to it um you know what their game plan is but i mean the 49ers just have a ton of weapons so they're, they're going to make impacts they're going to make plays in this game um again i mean christian mccaffrey another guy that's been a lock to uh you know score touchdowns don't be surprised if he scores one here um and then the 49ers defense listen you know there have been games this year, both stopping the pass, stopping the run, where it's been a problem. I mean, again, talked about it when I uh, was going over their uh, regular season. I mean, Kirk Cousins, 378 yards passing against them. You know, Joe Burrow had a good game against them. You know, the secondary is a problem. And the running game, stopping the run recently has been a problem in these last two playoff games. So they got to get back to being the 49ers defense that can stop the run, get pressure on... Patrick Mahomes, because again, in the NFC Championship game, Burkhart, Kevin Burkhart, Burkhart was talking about how getting pressure has been a problem for the 49ers recently. They got to get pressure in this game. And they have the defense to do it. You know, their front seven is arguably the best in the NFL. Um, with Bosa, Armstead, Fred Warner, Dre Greenlaw. I mean, they got to gotta get pressure on Mahomes. You know, um, this is not a loaded Chiefs offense, but you still got Patrick Mahomes, you still got Travis Kelsey. So they got to take Travis Kelsey out of the game, make somebody else beat you. Because there were at times in the playoff games against the Ravens and the Bills where it's like, how are you leaving Kelsey wide open? I mean, the, the, the first touchdown against the Bills, nobody in sight on the Bills. And then, um, you know, making crucial plays in the championship game, he's wide open. You know, they, they got to... Uh, Try to contain him. And it's going to be hard to because it's Travis Kelsey. Um, but, you know, they, they, they got to so somehow find a way to take him out of the game. Um, but listen, I, I mean, it's it's all similar stuff with both uh, with both sides. I mean, the 49ers defense, it's really, bo both units are, are solid. Um, both running games are solid. Um, you know, it's just 
the quarterbacks, it's different. Again, Brock Purdy statistically had a better season than Patrick Mahomes, but now we're in the postseason. So, and it's kind of been the opposite. Patrick Mahomes has looked better in the postseason than this postseason than Brock Purdy. So, um, yeah, and, and again, we'll see if Kyle Shanahan can get over that hump. You know, his third time's a charm here. You know, losing the Super Bowl as the coordinator with the Falcons, losing it against the Chiefs as the head coach. Four years later, let's see if they can get it done. Like I said, my heart is with the 49ers. My head says the Kansas City Chiefs. But we'll see. We have made it. Final game of the NFL season is upon us. We've made it to this point, And we will have a champion by the end of Sunday. And, um, yeah. Uh, and I thank you guys all year for tuning in for the shows. Um, you know, obviously, the, there'll be things to talk about in the offseason, free agency, the draft, schedule comes out. And then we'll be right back here again because, uh, again, that's just how fast time goes. But um, I thank you guys for tuning in for this great season. And, uh, yeah, by the end of Sunday, like I said, we'll have a champion. We'll recap the game. And then we'll go from there. But um, I hope everybody enjoys this weekend, enjoys the game. Enjoy it with whoever you're watching with, whether it's family, friends, whatever you decide to do. Eat a lot of good food because I know that's the other thing I'm excited for as well. Um, it's a good day. The Super Bowl is, uh, you know, always a good time. Um, and, I, again, just want a good game. That's what I want. And, um, you know, whatever happens, I'm not going to be disappointed. I know a lot of people are disappointed with the matchup for many different reasons. But let's just hope for a good game at the end of the day. Um, and like I said, I'll try, I'll cover all the NFL honors stuff next week. I just figured cause today was, you know, the last Friday before the Super Bowl. I wanted to, you know, just do all Super Bowl related things. So next week we'll talk about who won, um, you know, each award. But, um, yeah. I, and again, I, I thank you guys for tuning in for, uh, if you did for both shows today. Um, you know, I obviously had the baseball show earlier, football show, uh, we're wrapping up here, but, um, yeah, again, let me know what your thoughts are on this game. Who do you think is going to win in the comments? Again, I'll be coming out with shorts throughout the day, uh, as well. I'll have the, the, uh, both shows reposted, broken down into the four segments. Um, that'll be done today as well. So look out for that in case you missed anything. Also check out Spotify, Apple music, wherever you get your podcasts. Um, my shows are on there as well. And, uh, yeah, also make sure to tune into all the uh, the rest of the GSMC Sports Network slate. Still got the basketball podcast and the sports podcast uh, later today as well. So make sure to tune into those. But, yeah, that is all the time that we have for today. Once again, thank you guys for tuning in. We'll be back again on Monday. We'll recap this game, and we'll have a Super Bowl champion. So until then... I'm Kenneth Grunfelder signing off from the GSMC Football Podcast brought to you by the GSMC Sports Network. Have a good day. Enjoy the weekend. Enjoy the game. And I will see you guys next time. Take care.